Check this out. You know, it's a real van life home when it's just crazy messy. And this is after cleaning up for a little bit. These are kind of our, some of our only functioning cabinets at this point. <laughs> We've been putting our kitchen to the test. It is amazing. Organizing and reorganizing every drawer, using the sink, trying to get this cutting board to fit perfect. I need to tweak it just a tad, but. Wait, are you glad is, that we have such a big sink? Yeah, and that we can cover, so like, We'll do dishes like kind of at the end of the day or when there's enough to do like a load of dishes. I just plunk this on and it hides it all. <laughs> and we got this nice big counter with the like slide out. Counter, which the we've slide been, out has come in completely clutch. We've been using that a ton. Okay, we can't turn this into a van tour. We gotta save some of okay. our, our stuff. So but the what main, are we working on? The main thing we're doing at Ben Shop is finishing our cabinetry. So we got cabinetry from here all the way down to the back on this wall. And it's like mostly done, but we got to actually install it, make some of the doors. And I think we're going to get started on that today. We've been uh, cruising around here in the Fraser Valley. Just chilling out. We needed a really needed a break. <laughs> we were going like 120% there and uh, moving out was kind of our big deadline out of our suite. So now we're in the van full time. It's super fun, making it feel like home. We're, we're actually uh, parked, we're boondocking right now at my uh, my cousin Ben has the shop. Uh, we did a previous video here and uh, we're boondocking here to just kind of wrap up some, some little projects. So that's what this video is going to be. We're going to show you some of what's going to be going on. Okay, so I'm working on this fun little tuck away electrical cabinet. Uh, this is an idea that I got from my buddy Scott. Uh, he comes with a view on Instagram. He actually has a really cool van build website that uh, I'll try to remember to link below. But he had this really cool idea where in one of his upper cupboards, he has all the electronics mounted or his switches and stuff and his battery monitors and then it flips down. His flips to the side, I think. I'm gonna have mine flip down and then uh, you can like adjust, check your connections add new stuff. And now this has become more than just about the What does she think about all of this? stuff uh, I, I don't even know where we left off with our last do you remember where we left off on our last electrical video I have no idea okay well we started electrical then we moved out and now we live in the van <laughs> we've been using like jumper cables to connect different accessories to our fuse blocks so that way we can turn on the fan and then turn on the water pump and uh, yeah, that's a bit of a disaster. So right now, it's probably actually best. I'll just show. I've got a majority of my DC stuff going on down here, uh, but I have all these AC wire runs that I've been taking care of. So I've been trying to make it as clean as I have the skill set to make it. And we're breaking out our neutral positive and our, our hot wire here in the AC runs. And where I'm going to wire all these to, it's going to come up along that top edge there. And then right underneath here, this is the underside of my breaker distribution right here. And then this is uh, kind of just the section where I can break out both ground and neutral. So all my neutral connections will kind of come and meet here. And this lead right here goes down to the inverter, which is right here. This control panel will eventually be in the bottom of a cabinet here. We've got four breakers that we're working with. I don't really want tons of exposed AC wires going everywhere without it being in conduit. So this is kind of the 
cleaner way to do it uh, that I can think of currently, unless someone suggests something else. So what I gotta do now is add uh, ring terminals to all my neutral ground wires and then some of the hot wires. Okay, we've got the three sections of cabinetry beside the bed, mostly framed in. Now comes the fun task of making the faces for them. Okay, we've got our two template boards. This is how we're gonna mark out where the hinges need to go inside each shelf. That is a full overlay right there. The hinges on the back side, clicks right open. And then this is half overlay. So if we take a look at that, Okay, there it is, our two templates in place. Uh, this is our half overlay, this is our full overlay. So installing the face is a lot easier because we have the, the holes that we drilled earlier from our template. So I'm just putting screws in the exact spots that the first one was. It should be pretty close to lining up perfect. We'll see what happens here. Right on. Now five more hinges, five more faces to go. One down, five to go. Five to go. And technically that was the easiest one. I hope that never gets old. Okay, I wanted to tell you about the sponsor of this video. And this is, this is a little sad because this is actually the last Squarespace sponsored video of the build series, which is, uh, yeah, a chapter is coming to an end. So I'm, I'm thrilled to, to tell you about the sponsor and I'm grateful for Squarespace for supporting the channel. And it's a cool sponsor for me because uh, I actually really believe in the product. I think if you're creative and you're wanting to get hired, you're wanting to get your message out there, you really, really need a website. And some of the things that actually prevent us from building websites, things that prevented me from building my own website earlier was just some of the obstacles and unknowns about how to actually pull that off. And so thankfully Squarespace exists and they've made it really simple for registering a domain, building a website and starting to get hired or sharing your work with the world. And uh, one of the features that I actually really like, and this is cool for those of you that are building an audience or wanna sell merch or products, is they have a fantastic e-commerce platform built right into Squarespace. And that's where uh, the Left Coast Bear Toot comes in uh, because we actually sell this on our store along with many other things. And thankfully managing the inventory and selling and tracking shipping addresses and payments are all just kind of built right in. So it makes it very straightforward for me to be able to keep track of and stay on top of uh, all our orders while we're busy building the van and gonna be traveling on the road. I uh, encourage you, just go over, try to build something for yourself with one of their trials. And then if you're ready to commit, to make the jump, to make the plunge, to take yourself seriously on the interwebs, uh, use my code Levi Allen for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So we went and dry fit this panel in the van and kind of one thing that's now painfully obvious is just how tall it is and how unused this area is. 
Originally, my idea was to just leave enough space so that way we had any other components we were adding later. But frankly, it just takes up way too much of some very valuable uh, counter space. Uh, I think we're gonna reorient some of this. Um, it's a little unfortunate, but uh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it right. Not sure about the way I'm feeling. I'm breathing, but I hardly feel it. I guess I want you to know it. I'm taking it so. So we made this whole height here uh, so that way the bed can fit and some blankets and hopefully these guys will still be able to open because it'd be really annoying to have to move everything off the bed to open our wardrobe. Check this out. Oh man, I am fired up on that. Check out that control panel. Right on. I love that. I'm picking up the broken pieces. Go set up the planer, get this thing a little thinner. And uh, what I did was take this hinge and trim off a section of it so it can like sit inside that lip there. Yeah, right now we're at an exact inch. I think we could take off three, three eighths of material. Um, looks like we can do a 13 inch piece. So, have we uh, made good progress this week? Oh my gosh. We've made so much progress. We've also been chilling out. I mean, yeah. So, progress in our personal lives. <laughs> and progress on the van. All the little like buttoning stuff up. It actually looks like a home. We are loving the van life. Yeah, it's good. And we're uh, getting eager to go north.
I don't know how I cut these episodes together, but I appreciate you following along the, the progress here at the shop as we uh, close up some details on the van. Um, there's obviously gonna be some more projects that we're doing down the road, but this is kind of like summer edition wrap up and uh, we're gonna hit the road. So thanks for uh, watching. To our patrons, thanks for helping make our videos mm -hmm. possible. Really appreciate you. While we've been here, we've been writing cards and sending stickers and it's it's been really fun just seeing the global support mm -hmm. and uh, truthfully every dollar that people put forward is kind of mind blowing to me that they're actually willing to spend hard earned money saying with actions that they appreciate our videos. Yeah, thank you. So that's, uh, that's humbling to me. I never wanted to start a Patreon, but now it's one of the things that I feel I feel joy from when I uh, get to interact with the patrons for our channel. So thank you. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Well, our next video, we're hitting the road. I'm pumped. Keep following along. Fun that means to come. this video and the last, I don't know how many last videos have all been edited from the van. So that means we've actually been using it in real, real life. Maybe follow us on Instagram if you want uh, if you want the real up-to-date thing. Unfortunately, videos have just taken a backseat timeline-wise. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, life's better when you make stuff.